Hey, welcome to the second episode of the Free Play Iron Man. This time around, I'm starting things off as a contestant on a quiz show at 1 a.m. with the newborn in the other room. So, shh. And like any sane person, I chose the mystery box as my reward. But lo and behold, it paid off for me with the newest upgrade, a steel play body. If I somehow get the kite shield, I'll have a full set. While knocking out quest grinds, I got level 15 smithing so I can make iron bars. Up next, the knight sword quest. But first, the Halloween event. Overall, I really enjoyed this year's event. I like the inclusion of some of the NPCs we don't see very often, like the chef in the pub. Death's animations are pretty cool, and it's a pretty popular opinion that I share uh, with everyone else. I would like it to become an alternative home teleport, but I made a quick guide on the event. I won't bother lingering on it any longer. With the event done, I made some iron bars, killed some imps as I passed by, and returned to the squire to knock out the knight's sword quest. The experience reward boosted me from level 15 smithing to 31 smithing. And now, back to familiar territory, the cow pen. This time, the goal is 23 crafting so I can make tiaras, which is the first step in the long rune crafting grind that is yet to come. With my crafting goal achieved, I started jamming silver ore into the furnace, then made the bars into tiaras. But before I could get back to the furnace with the mold, I completed a maze random for a pretty juicy reward. 69 chaos runes, 34 death runes, and 207 iron arrows. And I can't really use any of it yet, but the runes are nice to have for later. With the tiers made, it was time to start runecrafting. But first, I continued my procrastination and took another detour. I got a blue wizard hat from an imp, achieved level 5 fishing, and took a ride down the river on my plank of wood. And I also got a clue step to catch a herring for Charlie. Yep. I need level 10 fishing. <sighs> Maybe later. Finally, it was time to start runecrafting. I went to the mind altar first because I had a mind talisman, so why not? Then journeyed to the air altar. I finished off the tiaras and made a few trips with essence to reach level 7 runecrafting. And that was enough of that for now. I don't have a great way to make money at the moment so I have to be stingy with my cash stack. And no, I will not be getting the 10k from the stronghold of security. It's not happening. So, I bought 50 fishing bait to get level 10 fishing for my clue step. I used the rest of my bait to get level 11 fishing. Then I made my way down the river once more to reach Varrock. I whipped out a raw herring and smacked Charlie in the face with it for making me do that grind, and he immediately turns around and asks for iron ore. Well, all right then, bucko. I gave this homeless dude his ore and completed my third beginner clue. So fun fact, when you hit the unique drop table on a beginner clue, you have a 50% chance to receive cabbages. Yeah, that seems about right. I finally got tired of using the RPG and daggers as my primary weapons, so I made myself an iron scimitar, and then it hit me. I can make iron plate legs and skirts both of which can fetch some decent gold when sold to the shops in Alcarid. And speaking of Alcarid, I cooked up some food I had lying in the bank in preparation for my next quest, Vampire Slayer. I remember this quest being more difficult than it actually was, and I didn't even need food. In fact, I barely even got hit, but whatever. Um, thanks for the free attack experience, I guess. To celebrate level 25 attack, I got myself a shiny new mithril pickaxe. Segway here. I decided to try training my range with the training arrows and bow. Um, spoiler alert, it did not go well. I knew falling stars could land in free play worlds, but I had never seen one until I was running to the Alcarid bank. I didn't get it on video, but I was the first one to find the star, so that's cool I guess. The only problem is that the star is a tier 4, and I don't have the mining level to start chipping away at it. So I got my main to knock it down to a tier 3. Alone. With the rune pickaxe. It took a while, and I probably could have gotten 40 mining in the time it took, honestly, but scorpions are violent, so I couldn't be bothered. But finally, the rock fell to a tier 3 and I could stand AFK for ages getting free mining experience and a few sapphires. Another fun fact, this has just been a fun fact video. Mining experience from Fallout Stars is halved in free play. 
Still, I ended up getting 34 mining by the time the star despawned. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even finish mining it. But I went on my way, and ended up completing the fourth clue scroll on the account. Absolute trash. Alright, let's keep this upgrade train rolling, this time with the steel axe. Don't ask why I'm doing this at Doric's Anvil. I don't know. On my way to Draenor, I got level 25 crafting, hit up the air altar, forgot I didn't have 30 woodcutting yet, and ended up aiding in the deforestation efforts around Draenor. Sorry, environment. I won't bore you with every level, so here's where I left off. 33 woodcutting, 37 fire making. Clue time! No comment. I've gotten to the point where I need something to AFK while I edit videos and do my work. So I bought a bunch of fishing bait and made my way back to Draenor. There I got level 20 fishing and a few cooking levels. Finally, I could start fly fishing! Since I need some food in the bank, I'll be fishing trout at the goblin house and cooking them in Lumbridge Castle and banking there as well. And that's where I'll end this video. If you've watched this far, you already know we got quite a few levels and knocked out a couple main quests. I think I made some good progress. Let me know if you have an Iron Man account in the comments. I'm curious how many people actually play Iron Man in free play. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe. This series is going to continue for a little bit longer, at least. And subscribing is free, after all. So, that's it for me, guys. I'm Average Joe Scapes. Until next time.